Cooper, but I think you're making a terrible mistake. Why don't you do yourself a favor and don't mess around right now? I want to cooperate. I'm only trying to tell you that I haven't done anything wrong. I think it's the dreadful man, Brett Lawrence. Then that's the man you need to talk to. Is everyone buying this prom queen routine? You think you're gonna plead insanity? You're not gonna let me go! Hey, let me go, Frank! Family court is not my favorite place, but I can hardly wait. I'm gonna savor every minute of your divorce. Who says there'll be one? My daughter, and it's the best decision she's ever made. If you really care about your daughter, you'll listen to me. Because the only danger to Dinah resides in my son. Hart didn't set up Marcus. And he didn't betray Dinah's Come trust. On, he's Time betraying out. her as we speak. He only slept with her to get back at me. He told me so to my face. Then bully for Hart. He's not leaving. What are you talking about? You can take it from here, Hart. What? Well, he may be quitting his menial job, but he's not going anywhere. Are you? She's waiting. Why don't you shut up? Huh? You've already done your damage. Why don't you leave? I'm not the one going anywhere. You're the one that's bought a one-way ticket out of town. You know, if I would have known that was your plan, I'd have bought you the ticket in advance. You smug, self-righteous... All right, both of you should stop it. Matt, I don't know where you got your information, but it's ridiculous. Tell him, Hart, you're not leaving, not after what happened between us. Not after everything you've said to me. Come on, Hart, tell us the truth at least once before you leave town. Yeah. Answer him. Answer me. He's right. Dinah, I'm leaving town tonight. One burning question. I need to know that fighting for you is worth the risk. America is waiting for the answer. Will they or won't they? Because a kiss isn't always just a kiss. This week. You must be joking. He's out of here, Donna. Say goodbye and good riddance. Well, Hart, why would you even think of leaving? I'm definitely leaving Roger. You know, after you left, I talked to my father. It wasn't easy, but I did it, and he's going to handle the divorce. Yourself. What? What's going on? Talk he to me. To Dinah. He's a user. You're really just going to walk out on me? He's walking out on his own son. Why wouldn't he walk out on you, too, Dinah? Why don't you leave us alone? Hmm? Well, you know what? I'm not going to leave her with you for one more second. Come on, Dinah. I'll take you home. I can handle this. Are you sure you want to do this? Okay, if that's what you want. Okay, so now it's just you and me. What's the deal? There isn't one. Okay, well, what then? Did I imagine that we were together last night and that you said you loved me, or did that really happen? Look, I tried to tell you all this morning... Okay, so we were together last night. I'm not losing my mind. Look, I, I know this must seem rotten to you. I thought it was terrific. It was. And you were. Great, so then why would you leave? That doesn't make any sense. I don't fit in here, okay, Diana? I never intended to stay. With me or on the farm or what? Here, with, with you. With anybody, okay? I never intended to get involved with anybody. I never wanted anybody to get involved with me. Too much of a loner. Yeah, okay, but I thought all of that changed last night. You're so desperate to save me from the evil Roger. You yes, said you I couldn't know, help was. yourself. 
because I was so incredible and wonderful, you couldn't help falling in love with me? I'm not the guy for you. Last night, you said you've been looking for me your whole life. Why don't you take a good look at me? I did. Okay. I'm nothing. I am nobody, okay? But you, you've got everything. You've got beauty, brains. You're classy, okay, you Okay, know? you know what? Just forget all this flattery and tell me the truth, Hart. I'm trying to. Well, you don't sound like the man I was with last night. You don't know that man. Well, what happened to him? Huh? Did my father get no, to you? Because your father well, what didn't about talk Roger? But he's, he's convinced you're using me. This has got nothing to do with. Okay, all right, Hart. Just tell me the truth. Every move I made on you was to pay him back. What is this persecution complex my children have suddenly developed? Oh, it's not a complex, Dad. It's called a reality check. In case you haven't noticed, your children have wised up, Roger. You can't blame Hart for doing whatever it takes to let you know that. He slept with my wife. Well, you made it easy, didn't you? You betrayed Dinah, just like... He betrayed, betrayed me? Oh, what are you Hart. talking about? He violated the sanctity of my marriage. Your Come marriage on. Your marriage has been a thorn since day one. Now, wait a minute. Look to your own house. Leave mine alone. My marriage is just fine. Oh, Thank please, you. Chrissy. Ross and I have never been happier, okay? Or closer. You may not care about your daughter, but I sure care about mine. And I'll tell you something. If you're believing all this Marcus defense business between your husband and Amanda, you're not the girl I think you are. Amanda Spalding does not scare me. Well, she should, because she's after your husband. The whole town knows it, including him. Ah, you're beyond the pale now. Just get out, Roger. We're sick of your lies for one day. You know what I'm saying is the truth. You heard, Ross. Get out. I'm going to see you soon. I hope by then you'll believe me. Don't forget to call your accountant. The court's going to want to know what you did with Dinah's You know what they say about stones and glass houses? Open your eyes, honey. So far, this one may have lusted after Amanda only in his heart, but give him time, because contrary to the impression he likes to put out, he's human, too. Please tell me you are not going to let him get to us again. Dad, let me go! Come on, go the hell Back to hell! Boss! You're going to let him get away Dad, with this, Frank? Dad, take care of You want to do something, you If some lawyer gets, lawyer gets him off, if some lawyer Stop gets you off, I'm going to kill you myself. I'm going to kill you myself. Look, Jackson, Nebraska, you take him to the car. Let's go. Who been taking you down to headquarters? Thank you. You're a gentleman, Officer Cooper. Yeah. Lucy, I'm going to miss Lawrence. I'm going to need you down at the head. You're a murderer! Lucy, I'm sorry. It's all right. Okay. See, no one's going to hurt you anymore. Hey. Don't worry about it. Get an emergency room. And both of you looked at, all right? Okay. I'll see you later. Don't worry about it. I can't believe all this is happening. No, just believe he's going to be put, put away for a very, very long time. Look, look, son, you need medical attention. No, no, no. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Now, look, your arm is bleeding, Helen Mike. Go, come on. You should get out of this wind, and you should go to Cedars and get a, get it checked on. Please. You need to go to the hospital. Hey. What about that brother of yours, huh? Something else, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We're safe. Yeah. We did it. We made it. Michael, you need medical attention. No, I'm okay, I said, really. Uh, no. I, I can walk. Uh, uh, Sir, the ambulance is right over there. No, I don't need an ambulance. Alan, Michael, please, don't need an please, ambulance. please do what they say. You need a bullet wound. You need a hospital. Look, everybody just stop worrying about me, okay? I'm fine. Yeah, well, I'll believe that when Ed Bauer tells me. I almost lost you once, son. I can take another chance, huh? Come on. And I never thought I'd see this. A happy ending for everyone. Yes, I will. I'll uh, take care of it uh, probably tomorrow morning.
No problem. Thank you. But tell me that you are not taking anything your father says seriously. You have said it yourself. My father knows exactly what buttons to push when you're vulnerable. Who's vulnerable? You vulnerable about something? You know what I mean. He has this uncanny talent of just zeroing in on somebody's weak points. He's certainly done it to me often enough. Too often. Well, I really am sorry that Dinah got stuck between my father and my brother. You are very smooth when it comes to changing the subject. I'm sure you're very worried about her. More worried about you at the moment. We were talking about Amanda. Were we? Rather, your father was. Honey, she is not our weak point. You know why? Because I love you. You're the only woman I love, the only woman I want. Ross, I, I never talk to my father anymore. H how do you suppose he got it into his head that Amanda's after you, unless it's true? Who are you going to believe, him or me? Good question. Honey, what am I going to have to do to get you to trust me on this? Excuse me. <clears throat> Hi. There was no one in reception, so I... Oh, that time? Couldn't be worse, Amanda. Please go away. Blake, it's a client. What is it? I, I'll come back another time. No, no. If it's business, we might as well take care of it now. Oh, sure. Take off your coat. Make yourself at home. Don't worry, I won't be that long. I just have a little business to take care of. Well, let's take care of it. It's a little sensitive. <sighs> I should have guessed, huh? <laughs> what should I do? Should I leave, Ross? Yes, why don't you wait in the outer office for just a few minutes. I'll take care of the client, and then I'll take my beautiful wife to dinner. I didn't mean to cause more trouble with your wife. <clears throat> All right, let's get to it. I suppose you're going to want to take off your coat. Don't worry, Ross. I'm fully clothed this time. It's cold outside. A little chilly in here, too. Amanda, what is this about? You. You're fired. Vanessa? Yeah, I'm up here. Ow. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hey. Mm. Oh, what I is it? I you. I hate being away from you. Uh, me too. What's, what's wrong? It's nothing that we both can't handle. What is it? You're scaring me. The good news is, is Dinah has left Roger for good, I think. She has? The bad news is that she's got herself involved with Hart. What do you mean, involved with Hart? She slept with him. What? Damn that son of a... What? What, 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 wait a minute. This isn't making any sense. I know, none of it makes any sense. I just left them. They were having it out. Who, who? Dinah and Hart. Apparently, he got to her when she was on the outs with Roger after what he did to Marcus. That's not possible. They don't even like each other. Well, I think you're only half right. I think she's got it bad for him. Hart used her. And now she's probably realizing that for herself. I guess I deserved that. Everything you said, everything you did, all of it was one big payback to your father. One big screw you. And he, you told him, too, didn't you? You, you? you said it right to his face that you set the whole thing up and that you slept with me just to get back at him? Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Well, for once in his life, Roger tells the truth. So tell me, you must have laughed yourself sick at the two of us, huh? Especially the gullible Dinah. I didn't laugh, okay? I just couldn't stand seeing him hurt you and tell you all those lies. Oh, so you tell me lies instead? Now, that's great. Listen to me. It wasn't all lies, okay? I didn't make up what he did to Marcus. I didn't make up how he still feels about Holly or what he told her. He hurt you, and he'll hurt you again. He hurt me, too. I didn't make that up. You're still better off without him. So long comes my savior and plucks me out of the arms of the devil. Is that what you're trying to tell me? was all for my own good, huh? That you did me some kind of favor? I've admitted that. I'll tell you what you did. You used me. All that fun down on the farm was a game of one-upmanship between, between you and your, and your father. And Matt was right. You're a user. Matt Reard doesn't know a thing about me. So when were you going to tell me the truth, huh? Or did you have any intention of telling me that you were leaving town or you were just going to let Bridget fill me in or something? You 
were going to tell me anything, were you? <sighs> the whole time we made love, you had no feeling for me. Whatsoever. You probably didn't even know I was in your bed. You were so busy punishing Roger. Look, I didn't push you into anything you didn't want to do. You're worse than Roger. You're scum. Why are you acting like this, Dinah? I mean, you didn't care about me either. You, you wanted to divorce Roger anyway. What's going on? Never out of dirty tricks. Think, Emily, think. Look out, Kirk. She's headed your way. You're not gonna like it, Kirk. But I have to break my promise. This week, as the world turns. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Diana, I'm sorry. I... I never thought that you'd start caring about me. Don't flatter yourself. I don't care about you any more than you care about me. Then why are you acting like this? Because I'm stupid. But you know what? So are you. Since we're knee-deep in this big truth party, the fact is that I was using you to get back at Roger exactly the same way that you were using me. I never meant to put you in the middle. Nobody puts me any place. I am where I choose to be. I mean, let's face it. Come on, I had some punishing of my own to do, and you offered me the perfect means and opportunity. I never thought that you'd start feeling this way about me, start caring about me. I don't. You were good in the sack, and that's about it. I was actually starting to feel sorry that I was using you the way I did, so thank you for fessing up first and letting me off the hook. And you know, you actually offered me the perfect way to pay him back, because you really are a chip off the old block. You're a carbon copy of dear old dad. Don't say that. You're exactly like him. No way. In every way. You think like him, you lie like him, you use people like him. I find it hard to believe that he didn't raise you himself. Now, how do you believe me? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Thanks. You're welcome, Dr. Bowen. Is he gonna be all right? That's the fifth time you've asked. And you can ask another five times, and I'll still say the same thing. Yes, he It's is. gonna be all right, Ed? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ed. That's all right. I think so, yes. I have cleaned out the wound on his arm. I've mm -hmm. given him a couple of pints of blood and an antibiotic. So barring some unforeseen complication, yes, I think he's going to be fine. Good. So I'm going to be okay. Good. You can stop asking, all right? Now, let's go home. <laughs> now, I would like you to stick around tonight so I can keep an eye on you. Oh, that's Absolutely. a good idea. Come on, you're ganging up no, no, on me Just here. to make sure that no infection sets I think you should listen exactly to what he says. And I'd like to keep an eye on you, too. I'm fine. Also a good oh, no, idea. I think that's a very good idea. Oh, who's hanging up on who now? I'm going to go check on your room, right? Okay, thanks, Uncle Larry. Um, Father. Yes, son. Hey, listen, um, that money in, in the satchel it wasn't yours, was it? Yeah, I'm really sorry for losing it. I just had to hit him with something. <laughs> You're a magnificent Lucy. I couldn't have put that money to better use myself. Yeah, but it was a lot of money. It was yours. It's only money, son. The most important thing is that you're safe. Huh? So, uh, why don't you get some rest now, huh? Thanks. Hey! You know, you're sexy when you're haggard. <laughs> and you okay? I'm still standing. Well, sit down. And I can't. Wired and wiped out, huh? That's it. Look, you want, you want me to listen to the doctors, but you won't. I didn't 
say that. Mm. I just want to take care of you for a change. The point is, Ed said the point is that we take care of both of us, The right? point so is, why you should you listen go... to him, so don't argue with me. Hey, 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 you guys don't need a doc. You need a referee. Hey. <laughs> go get him, Lucy. Oh, uh, thanks a lot, Brutus. You too? <laughs> yeah, me too. Actually, no, Susan makes three. She figured you'd want to stay here with the one-armed wonder here, so uh, she's going to bring some stuff over for you. Wait, wait a minute. Susan's out of a coma? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's out of oh, a coma. Yeah. She's doing great. She's really happy that you guys are, you know, out of your predicament here. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. I can't believe everything that Brent did to us. To all of us. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, cuz. He's not gonna get away with it this time. We're here to make sure that he pays for everything that he's done. All right, Lawrence. For the last time, do you want the court to appoint counsel for you? It's very good of you to care, Officer Cooper. I appreciate your kindness. Look, back off, Frank. We do this by the book. Remember? By the book. I want to burn the damn book. What I want to do is smash this hell against the cell. Do you want a lawyer or not? Look, you can refuse to be questioned until your court-appointed lawyer gets here. Yes or no? I don't understand why you persist in asking me these questions. Or how you could possibly think that I did any of these things, these horrible things that you're accusing me of. Besides, even if I did know anything, I couldn't talk to you. Tell you something before you're finished, you'll tell us everything. No, I can't. Not until you catch that horrible Brent Lawrence. He warned me. He said if I told anyone anything about him or what he did, he would hurt me. Yeah, well, I'm warning you. No, calm down. Come on, Please, get calm down. Me. You don't buy his act, do you? Frank. Come on. You know who we're talking about? Do we all forget who this is? This is Brent Lawrence. This is the same guy who killed my mother and raped my sister. Shh, shh, shh. Come Take down. it easy. There's Look, no way in hell this guy. Listen to me. There's no way in hell this guy is getting off, sashing around here like some drag queen, trying to cop an insanity plea. Please! Oh, look, you sound like your dad again. Yeah, well, maybe my right. dad is right. What I want to do is I want to go in there and pound a confession out of him. Great, and blow this case sky high, all right? When the lawyer gets here, he'll insist on a psychiatric evaluation. Frank, he's faking it. We all know that. We're not shrinks, we're cops. Yeah, maybe I know a way to find out if he's faking or not. Will it blow this arrest, Frank? No, it's by the book. Okay, let's hear it. Come on, I'll tell you. Well, I've never been fired before. But you know, a few months ago I tried to quit and you got very upset. I know, but things have changed. You insisted that I stay on retainer because you said that you still needed my help. And you've given it unstintingly. You're a terrific lawyer, Ross, and a terrific friend. There you go. Two good reasons to fire me. Oh, Ross, this isn't about you. It's about me. i actually getting along with my family. I finally have a real place at Spalding. Oh. Ergo, you don't need me anymore. I don't need your legal services. This wouldn't happen to be anything to do with Blake, would it? my retainer to my office. Fine, if that's what you want. Oh, I'm doing this very badly. And I'm still trying to figure out what this is. Oh, I wanted to keep it all business, just short and sweet. Really, Ross, I do thank you for everything you've done. You're welcome, but then again, you paid for it. I can't tell you how much your support has meant to me. You're the first person in this town, you know, who took me seriously. Anybody would be a fool not to take you seriously. Thanks for that, too. Yeah. What are friends for? Well, I wish we could be friends. But we both know that that's not possible. And we both know why. This is about Blake, isn't it? Hey, no hard feelings, I hope. Really, I... I truly admire a man who can make his wife's need for reassurance his top priority. 
What makes you think Blake needs reassurance? Well, Blake's insecure by nature. Anyone could see that. I don't. It's because you take everyone at their best, Ross. When Blake's overprotective and possessive, you take it as devotion. Wait just a minute. I think Blake is devoted to me. But the, I, that's what I'm trying to say. She, that's why she can't help but be so jealous. She, she's like a little girl. She has to be the center of your attention at all times, and I understand. If we weren't friends, Amanda, I'd say that you were insulting my wife. Not at all. Ross, I like Blake. Maybe Blake has been right about you all along. Bridget said that Hart and Dinah slept together, and Dinah and Hart basically confirmed that. Now he's leaving them both. He's leaving them both. Great. I mean, he doesn't care about anybody, does he? Except himself. That's what Bridget said. What? How is Bridget taking this? She said it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, the only good thing that I can think of is it means that she probably realizes that Hart shouldn't have anything to do with her or the baby. God, I was really right about that guy, wasn't I? Yep, he's just like his father. How could Dinah do this? How in the world? I mean, she just walked right into this. She's no match for the Thorpes. <sighs> We've got to be quiet about this, you know. I, I, Bridget shouldn't say anything to anybody, and neither should you or I, because it's really going to hurt Dinah. I'll talk to Bridget. Okay. I wish I could talk to Dinah. Think she'd listen? No. No, she'd probably just think I wanted to say I told you so. Yeah, she doesn't know you as well as she thinks she does. Listen, did Hart say that he was leaving town? I gave him his pay in cash. I hope he uses it to get as far away from here as he can. How dare he? How dare he do this to our family? Well, the only good thing is, at least you don't have to worry about losing Peter anymore. That's not true. Just because Hart says he's leaving town doesn't mean that he will. He's just like his father. Roger will say one thing if he thinks it's going to get him what he wants, and that's exactly the way Hart is. I'm sorry you had to find out in such a hurtful way, but at least now you know I was telling you the truth. Get out of here. I'm talking to my wife. I wish I had been wrong about him. But I wasn't, was I, Hart? It was all about revenge, just all about getting back at your old man. I didn't do anything to you you didn't deserve. Thanks a lot. Now, wait a minute. It's not your fault. You have too trusting a heart. I should have seen this coming. I blame myself. I should have worked harder to protect you. <laughs> I can't believe the bull you're dishing out. Dinah can't either. Oh, she believes me now, don't you? Well, Roger did tell me the truth. One time, at least. It's more than I can say for you. But go ahead, Roger. Aren't you going to say I told you so? I only have one thing to say. I've been saying it for days. I want you back. You're a liar. This minute, if you'll have me. Don't believe him. I said it at your father's office, but you were too angry to hear me then. I... I forgive what happened between you two. I, I want to forget it. I want to put it behind us. Just come back to me. Roger, I slept with your son. You're supposed to be furious. It doesn't matter. Please, come home. He's sucking you in again, okay? Don't believe it. What? Don't make the same mistake that I did. What is it to you? What do you care? You're history, anyway. Okay, I'm history. You can hate me. You can do whatever you want. You can call me names. But don't go back to this guy. acting like you care about me. You just want to torture your father. Okay, fine. If you're stupid enough to go back to this guy, then you go. Tell you what, why don't you go? My wife wants nothing more to do with you. That's what you'd love, wouldn't it? So you can tell everybody that you want, huh? It's all about that, Dinah. He just doesn't like to lose. Especially to his son. She's not listening to you, son. Well, maybe I'll start shouting then, huh? Maybe that'll get through to you. Save your breath. Dinah knows what real love is. Well, you sure as hell didn't teach her. You saying that you did? Oh, shut up! Listen to you two. You talk as if I'm not even in the room. You're disgusting, you know that? You deserve each other. I hope you'll be very happy together because I never want to set eyes on either one of you again. But you see, there's really nothing either you or I can do for Dinah except be here to help pick up the pieces. I mean, if she'll come to me. If she's smart, she will. Damn, I'm lucky.
lucky to have you. I'm the lucky one. You know, I was as miserable as Dinah is once. And now I have you, and I can look at you and put my arms around you and know that I never have to feel that way again. And I can look at you and put my arms around you and then I have to pinch myself to make sure it's still real. Will this convince you? I can't remember my life without you. I can't imagine what my life would be like without you. Well, you know what? You're never going to have to find out. Yeah, well, you got through it, didn't you? Yeah. I'll drink to that. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Oh, look at this. The lady comes from here. And water for you. I'm sorry. And you can thank your mother for that. I've got another wine cellar. Yeah, well, I'm sure my mother would empty out the wine cellar when she finds out that you guys are alive and you're well and sipping vintage champagne here at Cedars. What that for? To love. To life. You know, Spaulding, I gotta hand it to you. There was a moment there when I didn't think our kids were gonna make it, but you came through. You know, that's just money. You came through all the way. You were there too, Buzz. Yeah, but you get high marks. Doesn't he, Reba? Okay, listen, I'm gonna move Alan Michael up to his room, so if you wanna say goodbye, now's the time to do it. What about Lucy? I think we're gonna keep her here too, just to keep an eye on her. Probably all she needs is some sleep. That's what you two could use too. Crook, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye now. Um, where is she now? Who? Oh, that adoring sidekick of Alan's. You know, they couldn't live without him. It has to be everywhere. What's up with you two? How are you? You okay? I... Nothing to complain about. The kid's safe. The man she loves. I mean, what more could a man want? It's all we all want is just to have our kids safe and sound. Let's go home. Hmm? Hey, listen, do uh, you mind if I borrow for a minute? I'll give her right back to you. She'll be right back. Maybe. That offer I made, it still stands. I mean, you, uh, you do have a choice. I have to go. sake as well as ours we have to find out if he's faking i don't know if i can do this listen if you can't i don't know who can now i promise you i'm going to be right here and officer casey's going to stand right there and he's going to keep an eye on you you can do this you all set all right casey You got a visitor. Hey, Brent. It's me, it's Cassie. I know you. Yeah, of course you know me, Brent. I'm your sister. You came to see me in my apartment. You asked me about Brent Lawrence. I came about you, my brother. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, dear, but your brother is a very evil man. Brent, let me help you. Let me get you a lawyer, at least. Just tell me what to do. Well, I wish I could, but I can't, I can't trust you. I can't do that. Yes, 
Yes, you can. You can you can talk to me. You can tell me anything. I I know I let you down when we were kids. I I let mother hurt you. I am so sorry. Please, I won't let you down again. Just tell me what you want from me. I will give you anything you want. You sound like a very nice person. But I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss your brother. Brent, please come back to me. Be my brother again. I can tell you one thing, though. I, I owe you an apology. I never should have covered for that boy. He's very bad. He's done some horrible things. Things that I couldn't talk to anyone about. Brent, don't. Just stop this. Stop what? spectacular you know, the way you held on to me in the, the wind and the cold just wish I was stronger I could hold on to you better hey I'm here right I think you did just fine yeah only because of you I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come after me hey soon to be Spalding <laughs> officially that is you can do anything. We can do anything. Ross, please, don't be angry with me. I, I didn't mean to say anything derogatory about your wife. A beautiful redhead once told me that it's not so much what a person says, but how they say it. Ross, I only came here today to tell you I wouldn't be needing your services. Really? I'd like to believe that. Excuse me. Ross Marla. Yeah? Tomorrow? What? Yeah, I'll tell my client. I, I'm just going to let myself out. Don't worry about me. Something tells me I don't need to. Yeah. Well, what? You put me on hold and re... Okay. Tell him you, not me. You're the reason she left. I gotta hand it to you, son. When you set your sights on me, you went after the best. You're a real credit to me, and I'm proud of you. As they say, like father, like son. In all your life, you've never been more like your old man. Sorry. 